Hello everyone. Now I'm going to teach position isomers. So position isomers is defined as the structural isomers having different locant number for functional groups, multiple bond, that is double bond or triple bond, and substituents. So most important condition for position isomers is Compounds must have same number of carbon atom in parent chain or in side chain. And second point is must have same nature of functional group and same nature of parent chain. So let us see an example. Molecular formula is C5H10. Let's draw the structural isomers. This is A. And this is B. So name of A will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th. Name will be Fentin or you can also write pen 1 in but it's obvious Therefore, we will write pentene. The name of this compound will be So first of all, do the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4 and this will be 5. So, name will be Fent 2E First of all, find the PC so this is the PC Here this is the PC So number of carbon atom in PC is 5 Here also Number of carbon atom in PC is 5 It means that both molecules have same number of carbon atom in their PC. So only position of multiple bond is changed. Here the position of multiple bond is 1 while in B molecule position of multiple bond is 2. Therefore both are considered as position isomers. That is A and B R P I C six H ten as a molecular formula. Now we are going to draw the different structural isomers. So this will be So now let us consider A, B, C and D. So the name of A will be Ethyl Cyclobut the name of B will be the name of B will be
थ्री इथाई ब्यूटीन द नेम ऑफ सी विल बी द नेम ऑफ सी विल बी ब्यूटाइल इथीन सो नेम ऑफ दिस विल बी थ्री फोर डायमिथाइल साइक्लोब्यूटीन इन ए एंड बी द नेचर ऑफ पेरेंट चेन इज सेम एंड द नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम इन पेरेंट चेन आर ऑल्सो सेम इट हैज फोर नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम इन पेरेंट चेन इट हैज ऑल्सो फोर नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम इन पी सी सो बोथ हैव सेम नंबर ऑफ कार्बन आइटम इन पेरेंट चेन एज वेल एज साइड चेन टू नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम टू साइड चेन हैज टू नंबर ऑफ कार्बन एटम पोजिशन ऑफ पाई बॉन्ड इज चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ सब्सटिट्यूएंट इज चेंज हेयर सब्सटिट्यूएंट इज अटैच विद वन कार्बन एटम वाइल हेयर हेयर सब्सटिट्यूएंट इज अटैच विद वन पोजिशन Here the locant of substituent is three, so therefore A and B, therefore A and B is P I. So A has A and B both have same nature of parent chain. Number of carbon atom in parent chain and side chain are same. Only the locant number of substituent are different here locant number of substituent is 1 while here 3 therefore a and b is considered as position isomers in c and d let us check in c c here there are different nature of parent chain here parent chain is open chain not the closed chain since nature of parent chain is different therefore c is not considered as position isomers for a and b similarly d d has closed chain is parent chain and number of carbon atom in parent chain pc is equal to 4 carbon atom but side chain Has only one carbon atom. Therefore, D is not considered as a position isomers for A and B because number of carbon atom in side chain is changed. C and D also not considered as a position isomers because the nature of functional group, the nature of parent chain is changed here. so in given example only a and b is position isomers let us see another example we have compound having molecular formula c8 h10 o compounds are last one is
So this is considered as the A, B, C and D. The name of the A will be Ethoxy Benzene. So name of the compound will be, name of the B will be, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, methoxy, 2, methyl, benzene, while the name of this compound will be C. One methoxy three methyl benzene. The name of the D will be two ethyl. So see here, in A, the nature of functional group is ether, while B in the nature of functional group is ether, but the number of carbon atom in other part of oxygen is 2, while the number of carbon atom in other part of oxygen is only 1, therefore both are not considered as a position isomers because the number of carbon atom is changed so a and b are not considered as a position isomers in but b and c are considered as a position isomers because o here the nature of function will be same ether only the position of substituent is changed that is here position is 2 and here position of ether is 3. Therefore, B and C will be considered as position isomers. Now C is D. Indeed, the nature of functional group is changed because it is phenol. So the nature of functional group is changed. Therefore, D is not considered as position isomers for A, B and C. So therefore, position isomers will be B and C only. So conclusion is that for position isomers molecule must have same nature of functional group, same nature of chain, only define position of functional group, multiple bond and substituent group. Thanks for watching my video.